welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to debug the ss general ssl engine problem so ssl as we know secure socket layer uh, when we connect to our target uh, application using uh, http so if it, i mean nowadays it has to be an https if it is https it needs an ssl certificate all right so you might uh, come might have come across multiple uh, ssl issues related issues and this is one of the major and ge very general error message you cannot make out anything from this uh, error message but uh, you need to dig deep into the logs of your uh, you know uh, application so that you will get actually what's happening inside right so let's jump in so now what i'm going to show you is how to enable the ssl logging and how to get the traces at the highest level highest in the sense uh, more detailed more verbose right it's a two-step thing and i'm going to use this web logic right so web logic is my client and there's one more uh, server that is running application server running uh, application in fact it's running on a cloud i'm not going to show that show you that but uh, i'll show you how to enable the ssl debugger at the client side so this is a test instance instance and i have admin server and uh, okay uh, first you need to go to uh, okay uh, configurations and then start server server start and then put the arguments here so these are my arguments okay so this is one java option this is another java option and this is another jvm option in fact not java option All right so you have to put this in your start startup command arguments okay so this is one option you save and another option is to look go inside the set domain env remember i'm talking specific to uh, the web logic application web logic server right so this is uh, one of the place you can put the jvm option to enable the debug S okay so instead of you can actually say ssl here instead of all so now i'm putting all okay this is the first step and the second step is to write the uh, standard out and standard error to the logs so this is my error uh, this is my uh, log file and go to advanced so here you have these two options so you should enable these two redirect standard output logging enabled redirect std error logging enabled so if you don't enable this you uh, you won't get the logs required logs all right so yeah now i have enabled uh, the JVM option and the logging options now Okay, after this you have to restart the domain. I mean admin server whatever admin service are right you need to uh, Restart this so because this is admin server uh, you go to the uh, Host and then restart this server once it is restarted try to invoke your application whatever uh, connection you're trying to write that connection you can invoke and uh, uh, You will see the logs so this is i have captured the logs and uh, saved it in a file so yeah this is my logs after enabling the ssl and capturing every traces of the uh, handshaking process so let me let me go first okay so now we have the logs and what to see in the logs for ssl errors right this is a generic error we cannot make up from anything and let's find out uh, okay so for ssl you just you you first need to see uh hello client client hello okay so this is what it you know starts with the handshaking process so if you have this that means you have enabled the ssl debugging if you don't enable the ssl debug debugging you won't see this all right so this is the starting of the handshaking uh, process the client and the um, server all right so yeah you can see here so this is client hello and uh, what else there are i think uh, let me see one more Okay, so so these are the handshaking processes you see here right 
uh, server certificate server exchanges uh, key and then certificate request server hello done client certificate client exchange so i mean all these processes are going fine so far we don't have any issue when the server finished it has to send the certificate to the client it's a trust certificate right so whenever we client invokes a, a connection to the server say for example www.google.com it has to send its certificate that's a public certificate to the clients so that client can trust the uh, server right so in my case servers is finished by sending its uh, uh, certificate okay this is the signature of the certificate okay this is the signature of the certificate and here starts the problem right so this is uh, again a signature of the certificate and so my actual error is this right path validation failed java security cert certification signature check failed means my signature whatever i have received from the server is wrong so actually there is no problem with the client but there is a problem with the server since this is a uh, application what i have set up uh, uh, i mean it's possible that there is an issue with the server right so our main intention here is to check at what stage the error has occurred so it is during the server sending it i mean it's a uh, server tries to send its uh, trust certificate to the client but client client uh, sees that it's not a correct certificate so during this stage it fails so all these stages are fine but during this stage it has failed so you need to make sure that why the server uh, is not able to send the correct value so in my case it's actually related to something new feature called uh, server uh, server name identification that's a new feature enabled at the server side right that's why i was not able to get the correct certificate so once i uh, fix that uh, sni thing it started working so this is how you debug and uh, fix your uh, ssl handshaking issues right friends that's it uh, for now um, if you have any questions uh, leave comment uh, below and let me know if you need any clarification on any of the areas here okay thanks for watching see you later